let's look how we can create our own brush. And we can create brush almost from anything, from image, from um, like you find clouds. But let's just draw our own brush as example and see what we can do. So I'm selecting a normal brush, I'm going to create a new layer. Let's call call it brush. Okay. And before start drawing, I want to actually change some properties. So to do this, I can go Windows and click on brush. And you notice it's open expand these settings. So a couple of properties I want to do. I want to be sure the soft brush is select default. Next, we're going in a shape dynamics, enable this one and take size jagger and just all the way to 100%. You can see right here in the preview how it's already changed. So let's go also change a little bit on angle and change roughness. So let's give it kind of roughness look. Let's go in a scattering enable. And I want to actually pop up scattering not too much, just maybe around this area. You can preview. We can pop up and count. So at this point, we already draw kind of our brush around. So let's increase size. And you can see what I'm doing. I'm just start painting. Oh, maybe it's a little bit too big. Okay, so let's go back. Right here. There you go. That's a little bit better. So now start drawing. How I say it can be image or anything else. So for example, I create kind of like this maybe brush. Kind of foggy brush. Okay, so now I want save. At this moment, if we're going and we'll click File, Edit, and we go to Define Brush Preset, what's happening? It's actually will invert. It's take all of this brush and create. Well, let's do it. Let's go go. So Define. And I just call um, Test Inverse. Let's click OK. And now what's happening? Look what's going on. It's created all of this brush. So let's create new layer. And if I click, you'll notice it's actually inverse it. I don't want to do this. So I want to create just brush as is. So in this case, I actually need to inverse the image. So Control or Command I. And now we're ready. So the black, it's what we're going to use. We'll go now to File. Or edit. We'll go to define brush. Let's call it fog. And we'll click OK. So now you'll notice this brush selected as we save it. Now we have this brush assigned to us. So the nice things about this brush that we can still also use all those effects. So I can go back here and says, hey, I want change some of this, you know, the setting same as before, we can increase a little bit scattering, all these changes. And now same brush what I used for fog, I can use right here. Almost as look like snowflakes. But you can see the how we very fast created the also this brush now it's saved right in this area. So you can see you have it. This is our brush before, which is not inverse. Let's go delete it. Right click, go and click delete brush. We don't need that one. But we also have it, our brush that we just created. So we can use it in our composite. Again, it will be very nice overlay to create for the fog. Again, remember, you can do exactly the same with the, any images. So you can take images, um, open, convert to black and white. And remember, your black, it's what will be white drawing. So you need kind of inverse that. And from that point, you can save, define your brush preset and use it in the future.